Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you wanna see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any of this Stampin' Up! product, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog. The link is listed below in the description box. So the other day I had one of my paper crafting friends ask me, what are some of the essential products that I need? And so I thought I would just make a quick video showing you some of the products that I use every day when I'm crafting. So here is just my pile of essential products that I use. And I just wanted to start with the tools. So the first thing are, uh, let's talk about the scissors. So there are two scissors here. One are the Stampin' Up! paper snips. And I think these are perfect for fussy cutting. They have a nice short blade, so it's really easy to work around um, images and text. And they are really sharp and have a nice point to them so that um, it makes paper cutting really easy. So I really love these paper snips. Then I have some ribbon scissors. And these ones actually were sold by Stamping Up a long time ago, but really all you need is just a good pair of fabric scissors and then only use them for your ribbon. So let's talk next about one of my favorite tools. It's the Take Your Pick tool. And the nice thing about this is it has some um, removable attachments. Let's first talk about the putty side. So this is um, something that you can purchase and when you run out, you can get some refills and all you do is you just screw it in until it stops. You just don't wanna keep going because you're gonna start pushing that putty out. So when you're ready to get some putty, all you do is just give it a little twist and then that putty will start to grow and come out and you just need the smallest amount of putty. So we'll go ahead and let that start to um, show and then I'll come back to that and show you what it looks like. On the other side, you have two attachments. You have this one. So you have kind of like a little a spatula side and then a pointy side. And then all you do is just insert one of the sides in here and twist and it locks it. It also comes with a stylus with a large and a small stylus and that is um, interchangeable. So you can add either one of those to the other side. This side will always be the putty side. And you can start to see that putty coming out here. So the more you twist, the more putty will come out and you just need the smallest amount. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen me use this tool with multiple products such as embellishments and even just picking up small die cuts. It's just a really great tool to have on hand when you are paper crafting. So the next tool that I use every single day is the bone folder. This is just a really great product. It's nice and sturdy and it creates really great creases to your projects. So I feel like it's essential. Let's next move to the paper trimmer. So this is Stampin' Up's newer paper trimmer. It came out about a year ago and um, it has both a scoring blade and a cutting blade. So it comes with both types of measuring systems and it also come, has the measuring in the middle and at the bottom. And then this arm folds out and it's nice and sturdy so it, it locks in place. And then when it comes back down, it has another locking mechanism so it stays in place and doesn't swing out on you. I just feel like it's a really great product and I've really enjoyed using it. So let's talk next about adhesive. So I love all of Stampin' Up's adhesives. So let's start with the silicone craft sheet. This is a really, if you don't have this, it's just a really great product to have. You can, there's lots of different ways that you can use this. Um, I actually have multiple and I'll kind of talk to you a little bit about why I have three of these craft sheets in my craft room. 
The first reason is because when you use glue with it, like a liquid glue, you can uh, layer items. So like if you are making a layered flower and you wanted to create it off of your project, you can create it on the silicone craft sheet and get glue all over it. And when it's dry, it will just peel easily off of this sheet. So I have one for my liquid glue. Then I also have one for my hot glue. And it's exactly the same reason. You can build things on it, let it dry, and then it easily pulls off. So I store one with my hot glue gun, and then I keep one with my liquid glue. Now my other one I keep nice and clean, and I use it for reverse stamping. And I think that I will do a video about reverse stamping here in the um, near future so that you can see how I use that silicone craft sheet to do that. So this is just a really versatile and great product. So the other adhesives that I like to have on hand when I'm crafting are the liquid glue. So this is the Tombow and Stampin' Up! does sell this. The next thing is the Stampin' Seal and this is their double-sided adhesive and it is a new product and it replaces their snail adhesive. Um, you use it in very similar way. You just roll it onto your project and then to make a nice clean edge at the end, I lift it up and pull straight back. And then I've never really had too many issues if I do that with my with getting adhesive on and off my projects. I also love their mini glue dots. They're super versatile and quick and easy to use. Then Stampin' Up! does have two different sizes of dimensionals and I really love their dimensionals. I think they're just the perfect height where you can um, get all those different layers to show up on your cards. And then the tear and tape adhesive. This is just a really strong double-sided tape and you can just tear it easily to the length that you need and then place it on your project and remove the paper backing. So those are all the different adhesives that I always have on hand for any project. So some of the last things that I always feel like I need when I'm crafting are, um, they go along with stamp sets. So Stampin' Up! has two different styles of stamp sets. There's the rubber cling stamps and then the photopolymer, and they both fit onto a clear block. Now this is my favorite size of clear block. It's the D size, as in dog. And I really love, um, I just, it fits my hand perfectly. And I love that Stampin' Up! puts these grooves in it so that I can hold and grip it nice and tight. Um, it's just really a comfortable size. I can use two hands or I can just use one hand depending on um, just the what project I'm working on. And then the other thing is a Simply Chamois. And this is how I clean my stamps. And what I love about this is that all I need is water and the chamois. So when I first get this, it's all nice and clean and pretty. And then as I use it and clean my stamps, it the ink stays in the chamois. And then when I need to clean it, I just run the chamois under some running water and all the ink will come out. You'll notice though that the ink will stain the chamois and that's okay. It doesn't change the um, ability for it to work. Now I do keep my chamois in one of the stamp cases and this is just the standard size stamp case and it does not come with the chamois. So you do need to purchase that separately if you want to have a case for your chamois. So the very last thing that I'd like to share with you today that I use every single day is the grid paper. And I love this paper for a couple reasons. One of them is because it has these grid lines on it. I can use it to line up any um, pieces on my project so that I make sure that they're nice and straight. The other thing is it comes with both measuring systems, so you can choose which side to use. It's also a great place to do any um, practice stamping on, making sure that your greetings line up nicely, um, as well as any like stamp on, stamp off techniques. And I always, always use it. And um, it does come in a package of 100 sheets, so you get a ton of grid paper, and um, they're just a perfect thing to have on hand. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the products that I feel are essential when you're paper crafting. If you have any questions about these products, please feel free to um, leave a comment below and I would be happy to answer those. If you have some 
uh, product that you feel is essential. I would also be interested in knowing that. So go ahead and leave a comment. You can see a list of these products in my description box below or on my blog at creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.